Alright, so recently YouTube's catching a lot of flack from folks due to their new policy regarding monetization. Some big name creators and big name news outlets are predicting the end of small YouTube channels as we know it, calling the new partnership requirements restrictive, burdensome, and impossible to overcome. Let me quickly bring you up to speed. So the old partnership requirement was simple. Get 10,000 views and you're eligible for monetization. But this system only encouraged poor quality creators to just flood their channels with videos and hit the refresh button a bunch until they got over the the hump. The new requirements are get 1,000 subscribers and have your content viewed for 4,000 total hours. This system focuses more on channels building a solid audience and is frankly a much better indicator of consistent and quality content. But I get it, the one thing all YouTubers love the most is getting on YouTube and complaining about YouTube anytime YouTube changes something. But hey, I've got a better idea. Instead of making a bunch of videos bashing the platform's new policy, why don't these big YouTubers take the time to I don't know, make some collaborations with all these small YouTube channels they supposedly care so much about and help get them over the 1,000 subscriber mark. So I decided if they weren't going to, I would. I went on Twitter and I asked people to send me the best channels they knew of that were under 1,000 subscribers and boy oh boy my inbox was immediately jammed. So today I'm going to share with you five interesting YouTube channels that have less than 1,000 subscribers. If any of these tickle your fancy, I encourage you to find Follow the links in the video description and click subscribe so that they can meet these requirements and get support. Channel number one. The Back Pages, 582 subscribers. The Back Pages is a sci-fi anthology web series produced by a small-time production company in Redding, California. They've got a seven-episode season that's already been produced and is already available right now of short sci-fi stories, each with about a 15-minute runtime. The episodes don't all have Hollywood production quality, but they're pretty good for a ragtag team of indie filmmakers. They produced an entire season and are desperately trying to make a second, and almost nobody's watching. So let's change that. Channel number two, Emile's Travel Vlog, 151 subscribers. I know absolutely nothing about Emile other than the fact that he lives in Denmark, makes travel videos, knows his way around a camera, and then he makes tons of videos despite the fact that he has very little viewership. Lots of Emile's shots are incredibly beautiful, and although this isn't the type of content that a guy like me usually goes for, it's evident that this channel is the perfect example of someone who actually puts time and care into his videos and has yet to be rewarded. When I asked Twitter for small channels, most of the time I got a bunch of 13-year-olds thinking 50 hours of them playing Call of Duty constituted a quality channel. Mm, yeah, no. Emil, on the other hand, is a guy who goes outside. He hunts for actual adventure. He finds it, and he puts care into everything that he makes. Let's reward him, shall we? Channel number three, Nick Malley, 120 subscribers. Nick Malley is a 69-year-old creature effects makeup artist. He worked on Star Wars A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back. He's a veteran of over 50 movies, including Superman and Superman 2. He worked on Highlander, and he was nominated for an Emmy for The Hunchback of Notre Dame. In 2014, he formed the Follow Your Star Foundation, a nonprofit organization which aims to inspire young people to overcome negativity, follow their dreams, and strive to live extraordinary lives. His YouTube channel is currently all about Yoda. <laughs> See, he helped work on the original Yoda puppet used in Empire Strikes Back, and for the past several years has been working to restore the original model and tour the world with it. You can follow the journey on his channel and support a worthy cause or two along the way. Win-win, I'd say. Channel number four, Those Awesome Guys, 989 subscribers. All right, let's get these dudes over the hump, shall we? This channel follows the dev team of the popular Steam game Move or Die. It's a small channel at the moment, but the creator Nikolai is putting together some quirky videos and plans to expand things very soon to give people an up-close look at what happens when a tiny video game project blows up and becomes one of the most played things in video game land. 50% vlog, 50% developer notes, 100% weird this is a channel worth checking out. And finally, channel number five, Blackout. 556 subscribers. So this is a web series that, from what I understand, is 100% completed and was ready to be released in 2017, and then, due to lack of interest, never really came out. 
The trailer sets up a really freaky, really cool premise, and after watching it, I'm just thinking to myself, ah, post the series already. A faux documentary following a sleepwalker and the strange effects of his condition, this seems like a slow burn that soon becomes way more than meets the eye. It gets pushed to the bottom of our list because they've yet to put it out there, but the high production values of the trailer make it noteworthy enough to mention. Y'all do me a favor and absolutely flood the trailer of this video telling them that I said to hurry up and release the series. Matter of fact, check out every single one of these creators and let them know that I sent you. For all the talk about how YouTube is making it tough for small creators, the big creators don't really seem to be doing much about it other than complaining about the platform. Newsflash, it's not YouTube's job to support small creators. It's our job. So let's do it. Check out these channels, and if you like what you see, subscribe to and support them. I'm thankful for the support that I've received, and I guess it's time I start paying that forward. Thanks again to my patrons for making this video possible. If you want to support my channel, then consider backing it on Patreon. Peace.